Hello my friends and welcome back to The Witcher. In our last video, we did wrap up chapter four and just barely started chapter five. Um, and apparently Vizima's on fire. That's kind of what's happening. And we need to get into Vizima, old Vizima, I'm guessing old Vizima. And there's Scoia'tael and Temerian soldiers and oh, looks like Carmen's over there. So all sorts of things we need to do and talk to and everything just looks like a big old hot mess. So let's get started. Let's talk to Dandelion first one more time. <laughs> Geralt? Let's go? Let's go. Okay, I guess that's just it. He's just gonna follow us around. All right, you can come. Do you have a sword or just your loot? Because <laughs> I don't think it's gonna do much damage. Much damage. But let's talk to Vincent. I knew you'd be back sooner or later. You missed a lot. Apparently. Greetings, Vincent. Why are you here? <laughs> I'm responsible for King Radovid's safety while he's in Temeria. Uh -huh. We'd be deep in it if anything would have happened to him. Has Foltest returned? Yes. He's an old Vizima. Knowing whose orders we're following really boosted morale. I need to get into old Vizima. I stand a chance of getting in alone, but not with. <laughs> Do you follow? What's going on? <laughs> I have a job for you, Dandelion, regarding King Radovid. The Witcher's flapping tongue would be a liability. Why do I think you're up to something? <laughs> it's true. I'm not suited to converse with kings. Done. Dandelion, wait for me at the king's camp. Geralt, do what you must. <laughs> Well, apparently you you accompanied me for like five seconds, Dandelion. <laughs> that was that was nice. I've got Zoltan up there, but let's Long live the king! Yes, long live Fultitz. But there's other people over here. Something let's must be done about that. Talk to them first. Uh let's see, we've got is who's over here? Peach. Oh dear. No further. Understood. Got Carmen. Ah. Radovid the Stern. Um, his soldiers. Let's see what's going Away on. The arm. Long live the king! So there's these kind of neutral soldiers up here. There's there's hey, I'm just a Away the army of damned city guards. There, yeah, your city guards just hanging out no down further. here while the order and Squatel are fighting each other. Um, okay. Well, let's talk to Radovid the Stern. Greetings, Geralt. Your Highness. Congratulations on the Professor. Pompous twit tried to blackmail me once. Thanks for the good news. My pleasure. What brings you here? <laughs> what brings you here? Some people I care about need help, and I want to finish off the salamandra. Yes. Can I pick both? I, I mean, I'll go for the first one. Let's be realistic. We're here for the salamandra. I mean, we're here for other people we care about, too. But again, babbling. I want to finish off salamandra. Good. Finish the bastards. What's the situation in Vizima? Total chaos. But thanks to my agents, Foltest returned and is trying to restore order. I see. I'd like to be on my way, sire. Farewell. That's it? That seems very... okay. Not now. <laughs> He's like, go away now. You've had your one chance. Well, let's talk to Carmen. Hi. Thank you, Geralt. Thanks again. Uh, <laughs> take care of Vincent. Farewell. How are the girls? Oh, let's go with the first one. How are the girls? They still speak of you. Shani and I have become friends. Good. I hope she's well. She treats the sick and wounded no matter their race. Not all look kindly on that. I see. Unfortunately, I haven't seen her since it all began. I'll try to find her. Farewell. Uh, okay, are we done too? Thank you, Geralt. Okay, I guess that's it. Take care of Vincent. Farewell. I will, Witcher. Thank you. And does a dandelion anything new for me? Yeah. Let's go. Oh no, don't come. Okay, good, he's not gonna come. There's Vincent. Good luck, Witcher. Okay. Um Alright, let's can I Don't think I can go that way. But there was Zoltan over here, right? Let's talk to him. Our awesome dwarven friend. Come on 
Ah, you're in time for quite a scrap. Looks quiet. Oh, quiet at the front. Here they clash, there they grunt and again. Oh, quiet at the front. Yea, even one. Almost all Vesima's non-humans took up arms. How'd that happen? Yeah. When the Order started killing women and children, oh, no. even the most assimilated elves rebelled. Dumbest move since the age of King Desmond. Oh, gosh. Maybe the Grand Master wanted to provoke non-humans. As if that wasn't enough. Rumors surfaced about non-humans being resettled in Old Vesima because we're more susceptible to plague. Fucking fairy tale, of course. What are you doing here? We need to repel the attacking knights. Then I want to lead the civilians and Shani's patients out of Old Vesima. Okay. Shani's in Old Vesima? She organized a kind of field hospital at the old town hall. Coming with me? Naturally. Naturally, of course. Hope burns bright. Zoltan asked me to help him get to Old Vizima. We'll escort the refugees to, to a safe hospital. Oh, okay, well, let's make that active, I suppose. What's over here? Shoreline, campfires, and that's it. All right, well... Come on, let's let's get out our human killing sword, I suppose. Death! I do not fear death. Okay, well, congratulations. How about you guys go do that, and we'll just go into Old Bazima. How's that sound? There's a barrel. Come on, Zoltan. It's right here. I'm kind of. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good thing to be excited to go into a burning place, but let's save in case I crash. Uh, gracious sire, th this is madness. You should not expose yourself to such danger. Uh, wait here and allow me to summon a stronger force. Nonsense, Velarad. This is my city, the capital of my kingdom. Damn it, I rule this land, and I refuse to creep around its corners. Uh, gracious sire! Silence! You know you might as well wipe your ass with those intelligence reports. I want to see it with my own eyes. Non-humans attacking! Uh, protect the king! For freedom! Kill the Dwan! I'll hang you by your own guts, human! It's the Grand Master! We're saved! You return, sire. I trust you are not too late. Your kingdom is in need. You should know kings are never late, Jacques. Sire, flames engulf half the city, and the blood of your subjects fills the gutters. This is no time for word games. You must act. What do you propose? Allow me to command your army, and the freedom to do as I see fit. Never. Over my dead body. It was close this time. Next time, I might arrive too late to help. I've seen enough. Velorad, back to the castle. What is he doing here? He dropped in. He seems to have a talent for that. What shall I do with him? He'll come with us. I have a matter to discuss with him. Witcher of Rivia. Sire, I am honored. As I'm sure you surmised, I have not summoned you here out of whim. A serious matter weighs upon us. A curse binds my daughter. I want you to remove it. I have gathered all who might offer aid. 
Duet has been the princess's adjutant for the past half year. Velarad has known Ada since her childhood. And Triss Merigold is here for her extensive knowledge of magic and female intuition. Mm -hmm. Consult them and think upon this matter. We shall speak about it again soon. As you wish, Your Highness. In the meantime, equally urgent issues demand our attention. I'm listening, sire. Witcher, imagine returning home from an excursion against a monster, a Kikimor, for instance, only to discover your home a whorehouse. Your Highness. <laughs> I'm not finished. Those you left in charge failed you. A traitor threatens to oust you from the home of your ancestors. Wouldn't you be angered? Would you not elect to shed more blood? Sire, your home also shelters the elves and dwarves you inherited from your ancestors. The fires and the slain are their doing, you cannot deny that. But in truth, I need peace in my kingdom now. Perhaps you should extend your serene benevolence to the non-humans, promise them safety and equal rights. Perhaps. We'll send Velarad to negotiate. His elven features may prevent them from shooting. But I jest. Restoring order requires more. I'm certain you're right, sire. I must attend to some urgent matters. Speak with these excellent minds. Gain their insight. And don't forget my daughter, Witcher. I'm counting on you. I won't forget. My servant will summon you when I have more time. Okay, uh, a lot of a lot of things just happened. I assumed when I got back to Vizima I was in Chapter 5, but apparently that didn't happen yes. until I went into Old Vizima. So there's that. We met the king. And yes. he, he needs my help curing, curing his daughter. Didn't I already do that? I mean, like, <laughs> didn't I already do that once? So, okay. Uh, Her Highness the Striga. The king left me with Triss, Velarad, and Duet. He wants me to consult them before we meet again. Princess Ada has turned into a Striga once again. Amazing. And I need to figure out what to do. The king will summon me again soon. So I need to speak with Triss, Velarad, and Duet. Anything else? Characters, maybe? Nope. Really, I don't have one for... There you go. White... White Rayla. Rayla surrounded by Torbjörn's elves in the village of Murky Waters, but the situation got out of control. A fight broke out between her soldiers and the elves. Okay. I don't have anything on... No update on Fultus. Huh. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well... Well, there's Velarod. Let's yes. see. Yes. Triss is around. There's Triss. Let's save. It's, it's been quite some time with all those cutscenes. Yes. Let's look at the castle. It's really beautiful. Yes. Okay, yes, yes, we get you. You are in existence. Stained yes. glass. It's so pretty. Yes, I know I'm distracted by windows, but I like stained glass windows. They're beautiful. That was the same ones, it looks like. Yep. Zim is literally burning to the ground, and you are in here dancing. Maybe you've ever had. Hmm. Scheme of thoughts. Strange fellows like you excite me. No. Velarad spoke well of you. A pleasure to meet you. You do not look at night, sir. Poor Velarad. Faultis grows meaner with age. The sorceress's lodge started these troubles. <laughs> what? I find Count Roderick de Wet's presence comforting in these hard times. Doubtless, Adder's idea. Yeah. Sir, do not interrupt my thoughts. Okay. Doubtless. Antoinette, idea. elite royal guards. Maybe Velarad. Do they have anything to say? Long live Foltis! Okay, okay. Well, Scheme let's let's talk to our lovely Triss. Geralt, I was worried about you. I worried too. I'm proud of you. Heard how you fought for Alvin. Horrible things are happening in Vizima. True, but the king has placed me under his um, protection. Tell me, where's Alvin? Uh, Alvin <laughs> vanished into thin air one day, despite the amulet I gave him. Vanished? That's awful. He might be anywhere in time and space. I had hoped the amulet would block those abilities. I hope he'll be all right. Triss, I've been thinking about us. Oh, Geralt. Oh, Geralt. Ooh, I love you. I want to be with you no matter what, or we shouldn't deceive ourselves. It's impossible. I, ooh, this is, so it sounds like I can just stay with her or break up with her, basically. I don't know that 
it would be a good option to stay with her because I'm a witcher and I need to go be a witcher, right? I mean, there's two more games coming. I got it. I got to go be a witcher. So, and I don't want to lead her on because I don't feel like even if Geralt said, I love you in this moment, he's not going to stick around. He's a witcher. He's got stuff to go and do. So, so yeah, I think we should not deceive ourselves, but I kind of feel bad about breaking up with you on the, I don't know, eve of battle or something, but Let's just see how it all pans out. She's probably gonna hate me and like set me on fire or something. Triss, we can't pretend this is possible here and now. We are who we are, and neither of us wants to change. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to lose you. I didn't mean it that way. You're closer to me than anyone. I trust you completely. Geralt. But we both have things we must do. I don't expect you'd cast aside the interests of the Lodge. You're right. Believe me, Triss. I wish things were different. Geralt, hold me. <laughs> hold me, Geralt. Hold me. <laughs> yeah, this option is is kind of the way that I was hoping it would go. They they are they're still together, but they're not gonna have like the white picket fence. They're not gonna raise Alvin as a family because she's got her sorceress yes. thing and I've got my Witcher thing. But let's talk to her again and see if she's mad at me. Yes. Maybe. Geralt. Okay, what do you think about the situation with Ada? What do you think happened to Alvin? Let's ask about Alvin first. What do you think happened to Alvin? Frankly, I never guessed he'd bypass the Dimeridium. That would be a feat for many sorcerers. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Clearly, he has enough power to teleport himself anywhere, perhaps even through time. That's such a problem. That's such a problem. But I guess it's a problem we'll deal with later. <laughs> Uh, and then let's ask about Ada. What do you think about the situation with Ada? She's a Striga, Geralt. We both know that curses don't cast themselves. Well, uh, any theories? Any theories? Years ago when you first removed the curse, you ordered the princess to wear a necklace with an inclusion. Juniper, broom, and hazel branches were to be burned in her chambers. Don't tell me. Someone replaced the necklace and added crap to the fire. <laughs> yes. Someone close to her who knew the secret. Bellarad might know something. So you think I should aid the king? Definitely. In a sense, I'm a political prisoner. I could teleport away, but that would be highly inappropriate, and I still have a few matters to settle here. What might those be? Don't concern yourself. I know you're busy with Yavin and his elven friends. Triss, don't be that way. You made your choice, Geralt. I've got to go. Her Highness Estriga, Triss believes someone from Anna's entourage caused her to caused her turn once again into a Striga. That's either I can't read or that's poorly written. It's possible that someone helped Ada turn into a Striga. I am a little surprised that Triss yes. wouldn't side with elves because she's not exactly human either, but aren't sorceresses all about attaching oh. themselves to someone in power or something like that? Is there a cat wandering around? Yes, I'm distracted by Shiny. <laughs> okay, well... Let's talk to Velarad next. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Greetings Velarad. I saw you uh, speaking with the king. I gather it was unpleasant. It could be worse. Geralt. Aren't you a bit afraid, Velarad? The king's looking at rage. The king told me about Ada. Um, well, let's go with the first one. The king told me about Ada. Dreadful. You warned us it might return. Uh, can you break the spell a second time? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. You seem to remember last time well. Certainly they would grow weary of aiding fools. Uh, let's again go with the first one. We'll see. You seem to remember last time well. Certainly. You stayed from dusk till dawn in the old manor house where the Strigger had her sarcophagus. Kept half the city awake with the noise you made. <laughs> we uh, went to the manor at dawn and saw the two of you lying on the floor by the sarcophagus in a pool of blood. You were barely breathing, but the princess was cured. With the traitor Ostrid dead, the king was overjoyed. Hmm, many victims this time around, and who who was Ostrid? Well, let's, let's, let's see, maybe I can ask both. Who was Ostrid? He cast the curse out of jealousy. He loved the king's sister. Hmm. Many victims this time round? I don't know. These days, the corpse is like thicker than flies on a pile of manure. 
Know where the Striga sleeps in daytime? No, but she's been seen in old Vizima. She may hunt there. Removing the princess's curse will be risky. True, but the king has ways of encouraging you to do it. <laughs> what do you mean? You have non-human friends. Help Foltest, and he might reconsider his decree about cropping ears and beards to a prescribed size. Oh. Understood. Geralt. That's awful. That's awful. Like, uh, uh, okay. Moving on. Aren't you a bit afraid, Velorad? The king looked irate. At me? I'd watch what I say if I were you. <laughs> hmm. I've served Temeria all my life. If they condemn me, I'll hold my head high as I walk to the gallows. Okay, goodbye. Farewell. Any updates? Okay. Bellarad reminded me of the story of the Striga. He doesn't know where the monster sleeps during the day, but she was seen in old Fazima. Yes, she sleeps in daytime and seen in old Fazima. Yes. Okay, please stop. Please stop saying that. Damned recruits. <laughs> let's talk, let's save this time and talk to Count DeWitt. Witcher? Count. No titles, please. Let us bury past misunderstandings in the name of a greater cause. So be it. Geralt? He seems very accommodated now that the king is back. <laughs> so the king wants me to lift the curse on Ada, and don't you fear the king's anger? Again, let's go with Ada first and sort that out. The king wants me to lift the curse that holds Ada. Not surprising. You succeeded once, though it nearly cost you your life. The Striga's appearance possibly spells the end for Foltest. Many say he offended the gods. Remember how she first became a Striga? Mm. Well, let's go with Remind Me. I'm pretty sure I know, but let's do it anyway. Remind Me. As a youth, Foltest had quite an appetite. So much so that he plowed his own sister. Their child died at birth but then continued to grow in its coffin, only coming out to feed. Then you arrived and broke the spell, though apparently not completely. The Striga's reappearance proves the royal dynasty is cursed. The people are sensitive to such signs. No wonder Foltest wants you to kill the Striga. I thought I was supposed to lift the curse. You are to keep the Striga from becoming an eyesore. The chance of removing the curse is minimal. I've heard a rumor of an additional reward for killing the Striga. I'm not interested in rumors. You should be. It's your choice, Witcher, but give it some thought. Farewell. Hmm. Uh, Ada was born at... Okay. I don't know where that update went to, but I spoke to all of them, and I think I know where I stand. Let's talk to Count to it one more time. Yes. Oh. Our merciful master will see you now, sir. Go upstairs to his chambers. I'll go immediately. No, I don't want to go immediately. I want to... There's people I want to talk to still. Okay. Don't you fear the king's anger, Duet? Wherever did you get that idea, Witcher? Foltest looked pretty pissed. He said something about bloodshed. Obviously, he spoke of the blood of traitors and non-humans. He might finally dispose of that failure, Velerad. Okay, goodbye. Farewell. Okay, before I go and talk to the king, Imbeciles. there was one other uniquely named person here. So let's save again and talk to this Antoinette person. Wish on a star, a witcher in my native Beauclair in the Duchy of Tucson. A witcher once spent an entire holiday feast dancing with a sorceress. <laughs> Not I, my lady. I dance rather poorly. Hmm. Do all witchers have white hair? No, milady. I am alone in that. Perhaps I am confused. Regardless, I do have a certain matter for you. How can I help? Très bien. Mon dieu. My three cousins <laughs> recently fled the city due to some uh, unfortunate coincidences. Did they incur the king's disfavor? Of a sort. I wish to send them some coin to... Alleviate their situation. Understand? 
Mm, perfectly, I'll act as a messenger for an appropriate fee. I have little desire to meddle in political matters. Uh, I mean, I don't mind, especially if you give me money. Perfectly. I'll act as messenger for an appropriate fee. <laughs> ah, parfait! My cousins Corbin, Bus, and Ramoreau sought refuge in the swamp, in the caves there. Please deliver 300 orents to each of them. As for my fee... My cousins will give you a receipt. Take these to Ovezima, to the captain of the mercenaries, my fiancé. He will reward you. Farewell. It's so random, but okay. Mm, that seems satisfactory. Yeah, I guess. But in velvet, I promised a female courtier I would deliver money to her cousins who hide in the caves in the swamp each must receive 300 orins and give me a receipt i'll need to take the receipts to the mercenary captain in Ulvazima to receive my reward all right but why do i feel like they're not your actual cousins so um all right let's highlight that one so i can go visit the king but i want to go wander around in these other rooms i am listening sire May I ask what prompted your cousin's departure? Yeah. May I ask what prompted your cousins to depart so suddenly? Simple. The Duchy of Toussaint remains neutral. My countrymen prefer feasts, balls, and producing the best wine in the world. Sounds nice. Mm -hmm. It can become quite boring. Naturally, the nobility in Toussaint knows not about politics and court intrigue. You can surmise the rest. Your bored cousins fell victim to the local nobility, who imbibed scheming and conniving with their mother's milk. Exactement. I only hope they return home safely. Okay, bye. Farewell. <laughs> so the map said there's... There's rooms over here, but... There aren't. <laughs> or maybe there are... Oh, here's the door. The throne room. Let's save. Can I go in here? Because that'd be cool. Locked. Nope, I can't. Can I go out this door? Nope. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. So there's a door here. Is it locked? Everything's locked. Yes. Well, I suppose I have to go talk to the king now. Yes. There's King Pultist. Yes. Yes. Hello, Chamberlain. Um, let's yes. go a wandering first. So the king was in there. Can I go into this room? No, I can't go into this room. Well, let's go talk to the chamberlain to see if he has anything to say, since he is uniquely yes. named. Our merciful master will see you now, sir. Go upstairs to his chambers. I'll go immediately. Okay, I guess that's that. Okay, up the stairs. Can we go down the stairs? Whoa, that's really... Okay, let's not go down the stairs. I don't want to get stuck. Okay, let's save. So my game's going to crash any second, no doubt. Oh, there's a desk. Let's loot. Let's rob the king first. <laughs> he has a mutton leg in his desk drawer. That seems silly, but okay. And I only have yes. only have three of those, so I might need them actually. Witcher, your highness. No need for titles. Speak freely. You've had time to think. What's the prognosis on removing the curse from my daughter? It's possible. Could the curse have returned by itself? Unlikely. Someone must have cast it again. Should you succeed, would would Ada's mind be that of a child? I don't believe so. She'd likely recall all that occurred before her transformation. You don't believe so? You're not making this any easier, Geralt. Do what you can to remove the curse. Failing that, you may slay her without fear of retribution from me. When I last gave you my trust, you did not disappoint me. Thank you, sire. Don't thank me yet. Should you learn who cast the curse, tell me and only me. If you succeed, I'll grant your every wish, within reason, of course. If you must slay her, do it quickly, cleanly. If you fail, and my daughter suffers, 
Those dear to you will suffer too. I understand, sire. Good. Sire, another disease consumes your kingdom. What would that be, Witcher? I have been investigating an organization known as Salamandra. My daughter dealt with them, stupid girl. I regret I ever departed. To your credit, Venerad said you thinned their ranks considerably. I trust you shall finish the matter. Exactly my aim. One last matter, Witcher. Forgive me, but I had you followed. I received a report about your personal life. Your Highness? You must know that I hardly did this out of lewd curiosity. My spies report that you are romancing Merigold. I need to know if there is anything more to it. Hmm. Triss and I were close. That's no one's business but ours. We're lovers, nothing more, nothing less. Triss is a friend and none of your concerns, sire. Um, hmm. I mean, she's more than a friend. So let's go with the the lover's options, because that's kind of what we are. I mean, we are something more, but I don't know if we're close. I don't know if that's going to be like we're in love and going to run off and get married or something. So let's just go with the second one and see where that leads us. We're lovers. Nothing more, nothing less. Ha! <laughs> I knew it from the start. My spies have much to learn. I suspected it was only sex. Enjoy, Geralt. If you desire to go to Vizima, talk to my chamberlain. I shall be away from the castle for some time. See Velorad about any other needs. So I shall. Farewell, sire. One more thing, Witcher. Yes, sire. This is, um, confidential. <laughs> so you must pledge these words will not venture beyond these walls. I shall take them to the grave with me. My spies tell me you play poker. And, well, I have trouble finding worthy opponents at court. They fear I would have their heads if I lost. Care to play? I am... I, I like the option that I went with for Triss because it's also none of his business. So I can just, I, mean, I feel like Geralt and Triss are a little bit more than lovers, but not like white picket fence, raise a kid together kind of couple. So anyway, babbling again as usual. Um, sure, let's play poker with the king. This could end really badly. What if I beat him? Does he like chop off my head? Because that'd be not good. Oh, well, lots of... I have, well, not lots. I have one update so far. Oh, two updates. Oh, we're not ready to love her? Oh, we'll read all this in a second. But, um, wow, he's pricey, though he's the king, I suppose. Two, three, four, two, five. Ooh. Of course he has two pairs. Um, well, we're not going to bet anymore. Um, let's see if I can get a six or a one. I doubt it, but maybe. Yay! Oh, seriously, you got a full house? That is so cheating. Two fives, and that's it, basically. Lovely. Okay, well, he's got a better pair than me. He wins his hand. Oh, well. Three fives? Cross fingers? All right, we won. We get to go one more time. Nice. Two, three, four, five, six. I have a straight already. Wonderful. Let's um, let's increase our bet. It's the last. It's our last hand. <gasps> we beat the king. Oh my goodness. <laughs> A game of, I'm a poker legend. I have never won a hand of poker that fast with anybody. <laughs> I'm totally gonna leave this in because I beat the king at poker and he didn't chop off my head. <laughs> game of dice is gone out of my quest log now. That's awesome. <laughs>
Her Highness the Striga. Foltis was quite clear if I botch things with the Striga and she suffers, my friends will suffer too. So I'm guessing that's the all the elves and non-humans and Triss potentially. If on the other hand, I manage to lift the curse, I can expect a reward. If Ada dies quickly and painlessly, I'll neither gain nor lose anything. So best to see if I can manage to lift, if I can lift the curse. I'm to speak with the Chamberlain if I want to return to Olvazima. An identity, Fultz and I talked about women and I thought about my relationship with Triss. The sorceress is important to me, but I would not say I love her. Triss may be looking for something more, but I'm not ready. And I may in fact, never be ready to love her truly. I, I like the text completely versus just a little pop-up because the little pop-up was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna love her. And I'm like, that's harsh. Sweet revenge, Foltis wants me to deal with Salamandra once and for all. I hope the king proves a trustworthy ally. That would be nice for a change. <laughs> uh, anything else? Uh, glossary or locations? Ah, Foltis Castle. The castle was completed around the time when King Foltis's previous seat was taken over by Astriga, the product of the ruler's incestuous affair with his own sister. Ugh. Spacious stone halls, stained glass windows, and vaulted ceilings indicate that dwarven engineering was employed here. King Foltis is a very active ruler and often travels through when in Vizima he usually occupies his chambers and generally remains in the castle with his modest court. In the throne room, the king grants audiences to his subjects, be they petitioners or trusted advisors. You old Vizima. Surrounded by its low palisade, old Vizima conjures the spirit of yesteryear when even the capitals of powerful nations looked like makeshift collections of wooden thatched, wooden thatched huts and their streets were filled with hens and dirty children. Relocating his seat from the old manor to the royal castle, King Foltis began the long process of converting Bazima from a wooden village into a brick town. The war was merciless to old Bazima's inhabitants as its at its end, the area became something of a ghetto for non-humans. Assimilated elves and dwarves were forced to settle where even the poor did not want to live. Currently, Ophazima is an area, as an arena of skirmishes between Knights of the Order and the Squiatel. So bad, so bad. Okay, I think that's everything journal-wise. Let's save so I don't have to beat the king again. <laughs> and then I need to go and talk to the Chamberlain, I think, to get out of here. Right? Yes. Yes, yes. Stop saying that. Yes. See? He, I swear. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I can rest with him. But let's just go to old Vizima. I'd like to return to Vizima. Are you ready, sir? Yeah, that's what I just said. I am. I just like jump out of the sky because that's what it looked like. Okay, Her Highness the Striga, I should move on and search for clues as to the Striga's whereabouts. I'm in Old Vizima. Hmm, what now? Should I go on and look for clues? Yeah, that's kind of, I guess, all that we can do. Let's see. We can go down here. Oh, look, Zoltan's down there. Let's go talk to him. Hello, friend Zoltan. Glad you're here. I thought I'd have to run through the city on my own. I spoke with Foltest. I'm supposed to break Ada's curse. She's hunting in the city. What you intend to do? I have no idea where the Striga might be. Let me help you. Maybe we'll happen on the princess's tracks. Great. We need to gather two groups of refugees nearby. Then we'll break through to Shani's hospital. Ready? Ready. Ready. All right, hope burns bright. Let's make that one active and then actually read it. Zoltan asked me to help him. We must round up the refugees and lead them out of the city. Yeah, I remember that from the last time, vaguely. Okay, let's get out my sword. There's order guys there and 
These houses are definitely like a step down from the temple quarter. Defend yourself, bum! Oh, oh, Enemies oh. in sight! Move it, stop! Just stay out of my way. Attack! <laughs> Enemies in sight! <laughs> All right, can we can, can we kill them a little faster, Carol, please? They'll park a carriage in your ass when I'm done. You guys are not dying very quickly, that's all I'm saying. Am I not using the... I'm not using the good sword, that's why. <laughs> it makes a lot more sense. How close are we? Hmm. This okay, there's the hospital. Looks like it could be down here. Yes, they're down here. Damn it, they were supposed to be here. Maybe they're hiding somewhere. They better hurry. The knights will arrive any minute. Damn it! I hear a cursing dwarf. Impossible, damn it! Him fucking possible! Not you, Zoltan. <laughs> Hurry! Stay close to me and this witcher. We'll get one more group. Okay. We gathered a group of refugees just as Zoltan asked. I must protect them as we look for another group. Okay, so let me get out. Um correct sword this time. This is the correct one, right? Harval, yes. Let's save, just in case. I have to... So I have to look for more refugees and protect the ones that I already have. Lovely. Alright, there's Scoia'tael. I think the other red dot is over here, right? We're here. Punctuality is no strength of the elder races. Shush, Geralt. I'm <laughs> going to imitate the roar of a polar tiger. <laughs> Are we meeting zoologists? How would your friends ever recognize the roar of a polar tiger? <laughs> when they hear an unlikely roar, they'll know it's me. Stunning logic. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Stop before you attract some she-tigers. <laughs> Here they come. Stay close. We're headed for the hospital. What is going on? This quest is bonkers. <laughs> okay, they're both group of refugees. We must escort them to the hospital. Okay, let's get out my sword of choice here. And the hospital was over this yeah. way. I love looter. Um, let's no. see if we can go around the back door. Okay, here's the hospital. We're here. Can we just go in? Oh, dang it. Seriously? Well, I guess we'll go take care of these guys out here, maybe? I... Oh, no, I didn't mean to... No! I didn't mean to do that. No! 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 Stop! No! no! At once! Why would you want me to stop killing the order? What stop! Are you no! Doing? At once! They're the ones who are trying I'm to kill you guys. No! 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 What are you doing? I no. dare you. No. Fury. Okay, there's one left. And he's good. Oh, no. 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 At once. No. Can I go in this way to the hospital? No, at once. Okay, let's just go in the hospital. Get these guys in safely. Oh, we made it. Now the wounded can receive proper care. Mm -hmm. I just remembered something. <laughs> know the legend of Witcher Raven and his armor? You know anyone who could create a suit of armor like that? Go to the Dwarven blacksmith. He's hiding somewhere in Old Vizima. I'm sure he can help. Great. Welcome. You've set up a hospital. Clever. Do you have a minute? I have my hands full. Besides, I'm apparently not worthy of your trust. Ouch. What are you talking about? Alvin. 
You made it perfectly clear who's worthy of a witcher's trust and who's not, who you'd sleep with on occasion, and who you'd entrust with a child. But... Enough. The wounded need my help. Master, are you a witcher? I am. What is it? Master Geralt, the she-beast is murdering people. What happened? The Strigger appeared by the tower. I was sent to get a witcher. Already five soldiers have breathed their last. Help us. Which tower? The tallest in the district. The one the Skyrtail set ablaze. Okay. Uh, I'm going to save here because I've crashed twice just to get to this point. <laughs> now I'm going to read on my updates. Oh. Well, we managed to get them in and... Shawnee is pissed at me. Why stay and rock here? So hope burns bright. I met Shawnee at the hospital, but we were interrupted by a messenger who told us that a striga was seen in town. I have to tend to the monster first and foremost. I must deal with the striga. And then armor. So Zoltan told me of a dwarven blacksmith who is supposedly hiding in Ovazima. According to the dwarf, the blacksmith can reforge Raven's armor for me. But do I have all the pieces? Because I don't think I do. And then a soldier ran up and told me that the Striga was seen by the tower. I should check out the situation. Okay, we can do that. We can do those things. Okay, well, let's... Oh, let's get some wolf's aloe. Don't know if I need it, but... I miss... Um, well, well, we'll come back here. Let's talk to Zoltan again real quick. Geralt? How are you managing? War is disgusting, Geralt. All your plans crumble, turn to manure. Remember our chat at the inn? I remember the beginning, not how it ended. <laughs> <laughs> Things will get better again. They must. I'd drink to that. Okay, well, like I said, I, I will come back later. Come back later. Yeah, I barely even shot he's telling me to come back later. So let's head on to Ulfazima and... Oh my goodness, there are more of you. So many more of you. Wait. Yeah, go get him, guys. I feel like this is a never ending battle and there's no point in getting involved, perhaps. Well, let's look at the map here. We have the old well, field hospital. The tower, breach in the wall, and executioner's tower. Um, I don't actually know where I should go. Door to Skoyatel hideout. What? And then. Not a step closer, bastard. <laughs> Soy Skoyatel Swordmaster. Who are you? To the I'm tired. Yeah, quartermaster. Can I sell stuff to you, perhaps? No can I interest you in something? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Yes. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't sell a lot of stuff to him, but let's ask if he supplies the insurgents. I'm guessing he does. Do you supply the insurgents? I'd prefer to fight at the front, but Yavin designated me quartermaster. May I see your wares? Certainly. Our rebellion requires coin as much as it requires steel. I mean no offense, Gwynblade. As Yavin says, you need gold to wage a war. Uh, yes. Okay, well, farewell. Farewell. Well, I'm not sure where to actually head next because uh, I don't really... I mean, I have a tower I can go to, but I kind of want to just wander around and explore Old Azima since it's my first time here. But I want to do that probably on Tuesday because I feel like this is as good of a stopping point as I'm going to get. Like and I've crashed a couple times, so I feel like it's the game's way of telling me it's time to take a break. <laughs> so all of that being said, thank you as always so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Tuesday with another new Witcher video.